Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. I hope you're all doing good. I have some very exciting new things to show you. Um, in a previous video I had mentioned that I had found out um, some new handmade paint sellers uh, here in Europe and I was very excited to get some paint from them to try and today I've just received it. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna be sharing today some paints I got from this art artist called Julia she has a Etsy shop called Julia Case Art Studio she also has a YouTube channel I'm gonna link below to her shop and to her channel so you can check out uh, the kind of uh, beautiful things she does but before I start I would like to take this time to ask you if you are watching this video and you like this type of content and haven't subscribed already please consider doing so it will help a lot the channel to grow to bring the content to more more people like the video if you like it of course subscribe share all that good that good stuff it really really helps me and thanks everyone that has been doing so has been following me leaving comments uh, using my links all of that i really really appreciate it and i hope you like today's uh, video I just opened the envelope, but I haven't really checked the contents. I wanted to do this uh, live on the video, so you can get my honest reaction. So it's a simple envelope with this uh, type of seal with her brand name, which is nice. Here are the paints, I assume they, there's something else here. Yes, I think these are like... Um, I think they are a collection of paint she created. I think I, I remember seeing this on her website. So different palettes. This one is called Lost and Found. And these are the colors. These are not the colors that I got. I don't remember getting colors from this uh, set. Or maybe I did and I forgot. <laughs> we'll see. But they look beautiful. Even the yellow is granulating. It's very interesting. Maybe I'll try. <laughs> and this one, it's called Agatha's Apothecary. It's an also, also a very particular set of colors. You have uh, one, uh, two metallics, one neon, and three um, granulating colors. Looks very interesting. Ah, I think it's a sample. Yeah, Gemma, a nice metallic green. I'll swatch that out. So let's see what I ordered. I remember vaguely. <laughs> it arrived pretty quickly. She's located in Sweden. And yeah, if you go to her Etsy shop, for example, for me, it was giving an estimate f between February and March, but I received it in maybe a week or so. So yeah, these are the colors I got. I have Frank, this type of a taupe, a metallic taupe. Then I got Acerine, silver color, Via Lactea just sparkly interference color serious it's another interference color I don't know if you can see here there's the it's painted on the wrapping it's kind of interference uh, pinkish tone then you have Frank 22 I'm gonna explain better about these Frank ones and what else I have Agnes. Ah, so I did get one from the set Lost and Found. This one, Agnes. That's a beautiful granulating one. Dual tone as well. And Wendella, that is a type of metallic lilac. So the Frank paints, I got interested in them because I went to her channel, her YouTube channel as I mentioned, and 
I saw a video where she showed the process of creating this pen paint. I, I actually watched Frank 22 first, I think, or Frank 21, I don't remember. But anyway, this is a paint she created mixing all the pigments that she had at the beginning of the year where she made the paint. So Frank, I think she was, uh, she made that in 2021. And then Frank 22 was in the beginning of 22. And you, you can find the video on her channel where she um, has this uh, huge shelf of all sorts of different colors of pigments and she mixes one by one. And all of them together give this uh, specific one. I thought it was a very interesting approach and I got curious. I also read um, her description of the color and how you can see sometimes different um, pigments coming out when you paint um, because she had different uh, metallic pigments all together from different tones and textures and sizes of particles so that should be interesting so I'm very curious about these two and the Via Lactea also is um, particular because she created a um, set of paints interference paints based on this galaxy type of um, theme and uh, there were different colors one of them is uh, serious this one i took and then she had other ones like blues and greens and all of that and then the via lactea is actually all of them mixed together and i found also interesting the concept of having all of these um, individual interference colors mixed together and i think i watched her demoing um, how a painting with these and it looked really sparkly and nice and I thought would look good maybe for a, a galaxy painting or a night sky. Now for the fun part I am going to swatch those. I hope you can see it fine. It's um, afternoon here and the sun is preparing to set so I hope it's still light enough so I can show the colors accurately to you. I prepared here a little um, sample um, this Dalleroni that I like to use for swatching it's mixed media paper and then I just glued a piece of black um, watercolor paper so we can see all colors in both I'm gonna unwrap those and I'll see you soon to swatch them <laughs> all of them as I showed you in the video they all have their name on the side of the pen which is really useful so if you have similar colors you don't get confused by them once you unwrap they look gorgeous some of them have this ver very particular look I hope you were able to see in the video like uh, Frank 22 has some colored flakes at the top and Agnes had this beautiful marbled effect. I'm very curious to see how it looks on the paper. I pre-wet them with some drops of uh, clean water to help the paint to move along um, easily. That's something I recommend for all 
type of metallic paints if you just drop a bit of water on them and let it sink in before um, painting it will be easier to to get uh, a nice coverage with them without having to rub too much your your brush so let's start the first one is frank 22 it's this type of um, kind of a gun metal metallic it looks really nice and these uh, colored flakes are coming together with the paint oh it's something really unique I would say the the colored flakes really I hope you can see that on video but um, once it dries as usual I'm gonna show you a close-up it's basically you can see this kind type of taupe my swatch is horrible <laughs> It's so crooked, but basically it's this type of taupe color with a sheen to it. And then you get these little flakes that are a bit bigger and they are colored and it looks very unique. I'm so happy I got it. <laughs> I'm not sure if you will ever be making this again because this sounds like a limited edition. So I didn't want to miss on the chance of getting it. Ah, the color, these flakes, they just... And from what I've seen in the video, uh, it's not at the top only, you have also mixed in in the middle of the paint so you can get them um, randomly, I would say. I'll be showing once it's dry. Um, I did uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see better, but let's hope it will show on camera what I'm saying in person. In person, they are really stunning. Now we have Frank. That I believe is the one she made in 2021. She has a whole setup, a studio with a shelf packed with all sorts of colors and pigments and stuff it's really nice to see her working this is a more um, warm this is a warmer tone also really nice it has some flakes as well but these um, look more like a golden kind of a warmer top brown I'm not uh, blabbering too much I hope <laughs> I'm just getting a bit uh, surprised by the results of the paint as I am painting and <laughs> sometimes I I lose myself in my words. Now this one is called Acerine, it's a type of um, silver. It's really nice as well, pretty nice coverage. I'm happy because they are all like um, neutrals, but they are all different as well. When I saw this, um, you may be listening to some seagull <laughs> background sounds. It's uh, very common here on my on my corner with the the rooftop uh, window. So yeah. They are all neutrals, but they are uh, different. They're quite different from uh, each other. Even this here, I, I have other silver paints, but this is very particular compared to the other ones I have. So I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Now we have Via Lactea. That is this mix I mentioned of 
the, all the colors that are part of this set she created inspired by galaxy and stuff and planets and oh wow that's really sparkly I don't know if it was this one it was one of the colors I got it was saying it was the last one and I was like okay <laughs> I I don't want to overthink it and I, I just went for it because I was very intrigued <laughs> this one for some night scenes or galaxy scenes it's very fitting it looks amazing super sparkly you can see there is a mix uh, actually you can see like some white sparkle and uh, some bluish and purplish tones quite something I mentioned in a previous video as well that I got hooked in um, metallic paints lately I've been obsessed by them using them with other paints in regular um, paintings just for accents so I add some extra lighting I hope it will help uh, sun is going down pretty quickly here and I still have some colors to try and let's see now it's serious that's part of this collection that I mentioned she created the Via Lactea from and this also oh wow an interference paint it's so beautiful I'm very happy with it it's a pink this uh, type of interference paints they look their best on dark backgrounds you can see here that they are visible at least I hope they're visible on the screen on the white background I'm gonna tilt them afterwards when they are dry but on dark paper that's when they really shine Now that I'm uh, looking at it, I have this uh, idea of maybe trying to create a composition or a painting where there's light and dark background, so I can kind of play a little bit with these difference in tones. That would be interesting. Now we have this lilac, it's called Wendella. I don't think I have all their lilac um, metallic paint. Oh, that that's really nice as well. Nice coverage. I have to say, I'm very impressed with her paints. Um, I pre-wet them, like I said, but even so, they just come out with some very nice coverage. I don't have to work a lot to get. Um, kind of a homogeneous uh, look some paints uh, they get a bit more of a strict streaky look and you have to tap or to use different um, layers but this one is really uh, it's really nice I'm looking forward to seeing them dry and I hope I'll be able to show you today if I'm not I'm gonna film tomorrow with better lighting and now we have the last one that's Agnes that's this mix of granulating and sparkly paint I don't expect to show ah, didn't expect to show much on the black paper but it does It's a really nice color. Lovely to paint natural stuff like stones. And with the, I don't know if it's showing on camera right now, but it has gold sparkles. 
it's really beautiful this will look amazing when it's dry now I'm really interested in the other ones <laughs> that she has for the set they look tempting just finished swatching the paint that I got now there is the extra sample that I got I am going to swatch it over here at the top so let's see how Gemma looks it's really nice kind of a looks a bit like jungle green I think from uh, what's the name fine tech uh, no not fine tech Colero fine tech and Colero used to be the same company and then they dissolved and now they are two different companies so sometimes people still get uh, to call one by the name of the other but basically fine tech has square pants and Colero has round pants that's how you know the difference so this looks a bit like the jungle green uh, paint from Colero so now I'm done with the swatching and um, most of them look pretty dry at least oh this one got a bit smudged maybe it wasn't completely dry at least on the white paper so I'm gonna show it to you now I don't want to risk uh, losing the daylight so I'm gonna approach here I hope you can see so you have here Frank 22 I hope you can see the different colored sparkles on it then you have Frank Acerin Via Lactea is this one this one is serious and it's also a duochrome because from this angle it looks pink but from some other angles look a bit like a coppery or a salmon so I can definitely see different colors when I painted with it it looked really pink but now that it's dry it looks a bit like a kind of a red gold type of color it's really beautiful and here you have Wendella that is the very light lilac and Agnes I really hope you can see this um, sparkly reflections here I have the extra lighting on top of my camera so I cannot really see very well what's on camera and this you have the green one Gemma so once more I'm gonna tilt it so you can see So I hope that you were able to see well the colors that I got. Uh, they are really, really nice, great quality uh, paints. I love the selection of colors she has on her website. I'll definitely be thinking about getting more of this collection here, Lost and Found. But she has other collections as well on her website. Sh the shipping was reasonable, was pretty quick. And I would definitely get more paints from her. So, oops so i really recommend if you're into metallic paints to go check her website and um, that's it i hope you liked today's video if you did you know that good stuff thumbs up share um, comment 
Um, let me know if you have a favorite color from this selection here that I showed or maybe a color that you saw on our website that look <laughs> I get uh, I got a bit uh, accident of a uh, artist accident so yeah so let me know if you have a favorite uh, from her website or from the ones I swatched uh, if you ever tried her paints or if you want to I always like and enjoy reading your comments and I'll see you soon. Bye!